much abuse has been taking place. Uh, it's 2016, you know, it's not the 18th century anymore. Um, and it's shocking it, this is still happening. Right. We want to make sure that everybody is aware of this and what things can, you know, how things can change, what can we do. Hopefully people will take notice about it and say, okay, this is a serious situation in Pakistan, there's abuse, there's people being killed, there's women being tortured, murdered for things that, you know, should be their rights to do in society. Um, unfortunately, they don't have any rights. Um, if Pakistan's policies might be all great, but, you know, are they being implemented? Can people go to the police, you know, being... Say, you know, thinking, okay, we're going to be safe going there. So these are the issues that we think need to be highlighted and someone to take notice. And that's why we're here today for people to notice, notice things. And hopefully, when they do, they will start doing something about it. Pakistan obviously had their women prime minister. Yes. Does it? Did that not? You know, many of also many years. So did that not improve the situation of women in that country as a whole? The fact they elect the woman as their leader. Of course, I mean she's been a great role, role model for everyone, um, and you know Pakistan should be really, really proud of it. However, you know these things are still happening, um, whether in big, large cities or in small villages. So obviously there is still uh, a lot to be done. There's still education, you know, that needs to be emphasised on these things. Um, hopefully, we can make a change. Have laws such as the Hudud Ordinance have a particular effect on women having been passed? Have they made their lives particularly worse than previously? Well, hopefully uh, things have changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, every other day we hear of something on the news. Um, there's always some article we're reading in, in this country about Pakistan. This has happened, that has happened. So there is still lots to be done. Do minority women, women from minority communities, do they face particular difficulties in that country? Um, to what we're listening to, the feedback we are getting, there are a lot of difficulties out there. Um, people need to access uh, authorities they can go to and feel safe. They need to be reassured about things. But I think the main thing is they need education. Uh, a lot of people just don't know the understanding or respect, you know, of humanity, regardless of your faith, your culture, your religion, anything. So. Britain is one of the major donors to Pakistan for aid. Should that aid somehow be tied or channeled towards helping civil society in that respect? Because at the moment, it doesn't appear to be having strings attached to it, from what I'm understanding is. Well, I mean, it could be, but, you know, it's down to Pakistan as the government to decide that and, you know, take control. Um, and hopefully the public over there should get together and demand that we do something um, and where are these funds going to mm -hmm. you know so many uh, countries give out so many funding to Pakistan every year oh, yeah. where where is it where is it going mm -hmm. can we see your figures can we say where it is actually going who's benefiting yeah um, and then hopefully if the public get together then something can be done about it you know people need to start asking questions they need to come out and protest like we are doing today um, so it's all to create awareness i think at the end of the day okay. yes. thank you very much